All right, wanted to show you another little handy tool. Uh, actually, uh, another YouTuber, uh, forgive me if I mispronounce this, but uh, Tal Flatermus. He kind of showed a homemade tool before I got a chance to do my video on this one. I'm kind of late getting it together, but I got it. Anyway, this right here is a tool called a Trim Doctor. can be purchased at uh, Midway. Uh, basically, it is for opening shells that um, you you don't want or you don't need or you have uh, you're unsure about the quality of the, the shotgun shell you can uh, open it up on this uh, in addition you can take uh, fire shells which uh, they've been resized and put them in there and trim the ends of them so that that what you end up with is a, a uniform edge for crimping uh, but it works really well for opening up a shotgun shell to uh, do this, make uh, waxers. Anyway, put it in there. You got bushings, and you got bushings for different size shells. But uh, ease it down and slowly rotate the shell. You want to try and get it scored on the outside edge first before you really get in there and cut. But sometimes it's a, it gives you a fit. Now, you get it adjusted just right, and you don't have all that twisting and turning you have to do, which I don't have it adjusted right at the moment. But, it opens up the very tip of the shell, and uh, works really well, like I said, when it's adjusted right. Let me dump this in my wax. I'm going to finish this with my box cutter. When this is working right and adjusted right, you can empty shells, I mean, quickly, one after the another, easy, easy. Do one more here. And uh, for some reason, these tips are kind of flared. By the way, this is uh, Federal Target Loads. Uh, got them because they're the cheapest thing out there, and that's the point of making a waxer is to make a, a, a slug-like ammunition as cheap as possible. Uh, seven and a half shot, uh, one and an eighth ounce, and uh, here we go again. blades kind of dull on that thing too anyway like I said fresh blade adjusted properly which uh, I need to adjust the depth a little bit more put me a good blade in there and uh, it'll be up to par quick like I said it takes a bare minimum off the tip so you you've got enough room to to get as much of your your lead and wax in there as possible. Now, finally, I got it worked in just right, and uh, you can actually just take and really put that top of that shell back on there. And uh, with this tool, I mean, you can make every one of them like that once you got, you know, the hang of spinning it. And it's, it's kind of open on the end when you've got it down, and so you can look down in there and watch it and lightly score the outside of the shell, and then slowly press down and turn. And... Uh, 
like I said, you can end up with this and, and an idea, which you may or may not want to do, would be to uh, fill it with the wax and then immediately place your cap back on the shell and, uh, you know, possibly, I don't know, super glue it or something of that nature. And then you don't have to worry about the, uh, the waxer sliding out the end of the shell, you know, uh, to see that's a real, real loose fit. And it's always a possibility of the waxer sliding right out the end of the, the barrel out of the shell and uh, even on chambering uh, it's, it's very likely that the shell the, the, the waxer could could offset like that and come out uh, there is you can adjust this tool to where it's just barely taking the tip off which will actually leave a little rounded recess at the tip of the shell that will keep that from coming out I've got it set a little bit too deep right now so it's not leaving that lip but uh you know, it works really great. If you reload shotgun shells, I'd say you should have a trim doctor. Um, you basically adjust the depth with this uh, piece right here. And this, of course, is a bushing uh, for it, which I've got several different bushings. I can go down to, uh, I think, uh, 410, 20 gauge, uh, however, however small you want to go with it. But uh, it's a real good tool for doing this job. So uh, I recommend you give it a shot. I think if I'm not mistaken, which I'm going off of memory, and I bought this tool a long time ago, uh, I, I think this was like 25 bucks at Midway. In uh, the different bushings, I don't remember what the price on them are, but you can get, get them for different shells. Uh, and it's not only great for making waxers, it's great for, like I said, opening the shells that you don't know about the, the uh, contents where you can reclaim the shot uh, to use in a different shell. Uh, also intended to, to trim the end of a shotgun shell after several firings. Uh, another idea to use this tool for is if you wanted to make short shells, which of course you'd have to come up with your own wad combination and everything to make it work, but uh, you could actually make uh, say two inch shells instead of two and three quarter inch shells by uh, taking and, and, and cutting this, this tip off and then you know changing your wad combination in, in addition to your powder and uh, crimping this again which you would have to come up with a specialized way of crimping it uh, extension block or something in a mech or, or something of that nature uh, and always a roll crimp is a really good uh, good idea with an overshot wad and you can cut that wad down right there and reuse it uh, make your small loads uh, anyway that's some ideas uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it